fundamentalist pastor Jim Baker thinks that people are attacking Trump because he loves Jesus too much. Unsaved people are going insane. Yes. They, can, they can't take it. They can't believe that a person was elected to presidency that honored God, mm -hmm. that wants to keep the cross on top of your church and Jesus in your heart. And he wants to stop killing the babies. But we're so perverted, it's so wicked that we think it's normal birth control to kill the baby. Mm -hmm. That's not birth control. That's right. It's murder. I'm sorry. I know you don't like it. I, I'm sorry. I hate to even have to get people so upset. But I'm telling you, this is one of the main reasons I believe judgment finally came to America. Mm -hmm. Is we've killed 60 million unborn babies. Mm. 60 million ewes. Yeah. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Right. Everybody's for abortion that's still alive. That's right. I don't know what that means, but that's you know what, what that means. means. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. There's a lot of crazy to unpack there. But first, I, I just got to mention how I love it. You know, Tammy Faye is like, mm, mm, right on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, uh, look. Are people who are unsaved, are they going insane? Actually, he might be right about that. Because um, every time I listen to Jim Baker, I go a little bit more crazy. Uh, but it's not for the reasons that he actually lists. Now, for one, look, Trump, he didn't care about the babies. Come on. Now, to be fair, there's Mike Pence. All the abortion stuff, that's all Mike Pence is doing. He's in the background going, Trump, you got to save the babies, Trump. Got to save the babies. He's like, what? A oh, baby? Who? Where? <laughs> uh, but this is all, like I said, Mike Pence. Now, to be fair uh, and completely accurate, Mike Pence also probably doesn't care about the babies. What he cares about is fetuses that are unborn as soon as they're born. Sorry, uh, tough luck, man. We're not going to give you welfare or anything. You're on your own. Here's bootstraps. So, like I said, there's a lot of crazy packed into this video. So, I'm going to go back. And I, I, what I'm going to do, I, I want to kind of break it down piece by piece here. Now, for one, he lies about Trump being a super Christian. Oh, my God. He, he is the person that has elected the presidency. Is that He's the first guy that's honored God. Really? Donald Trump is terrible at being a Christian. <laughs> he's, he's bad at it. He can't remember his favorite Bible verse. No, he doesn't know anything about the Bible. And it's really, really strange how the evangelicals backed up behind him. I mean, Trump is the least Christian kind of person. Uh, he's somebody that regularly attacks people uh, for, you know, ridiculous reasons, nonsensical reasons, uh, fights with them, has been remarried three times, um, and like I said, has even bragged about kissing women when they don't want it and then grabbing their genitals. How Christian is that? That's not very Christian. That's not very Christian at all. But again, these people, I guess they bought into the snake oil. I, I don't understand why evangelicals love Trump so much. Uh, maybe they were looking for somebody who was the anti-Jesus, the literal. I, I'm not saying he's the antichrist, but when you look at his positions, yeah, he would be, I guess, considered <laughs> antithetical to those positions. Uh, but anyway, as far as other presidents are concerned, you do know that all the presidents have been Christian. I mean, we've never had a Muslim president, despite what InfoWars wants to tell you. Obama, not a Muslim. We've never had an atheist president. They've all been self-professed Christians. So you could say the same about pretty much any president saying, oh, we, well, we honor God uh, and wants to keep that cross on top of your church. Yeah, that's pretty much true with every president because, hey, guess what? We all believe in freedom of religion, which means keeping the cross on top of your church. Which, by the way, I, I don't understand... Why people think that that's actually threatened. Christians are still a minority, or I'm sorry, majority in this country, despite, you know, levels of worship actually uh, and, and membership in the churches falling off. You're still a majority. You're still about 70 to 80% of the country. Nobody wants to take the crosses off your churches. All we want you to do is to keep the crosses out of the women's vaginas. That's all we're asking. Uh, not only that, but look, what this is, this is about abortion. Okay, 
And look, it's this is because they've lost the other parts of the culture wars. And why? And this is why they're doubling down on abortion. It's the only thing they got left. Now, do I like abortion personally? No. And that's one thing the right wants to throw out. Oh, the, the liberals, they love killing babies and love abortion. No, actually, we don't like abortion. But look, I, I'm a dude. I, I think it's fairly obvious. Uh, I can't tell somebody who is not a man what they can and can't do with their own parts. I can't tell anybody what to do with their own parts. And I don't want to. And you know what else uh, I don't want telling people what to do with their body parts? The government. Uh, unfortunately, this is what they're uh, looking to do. See, these people are so anti-government. They're so they're small government until it comes to regulating women's parts. And then they're like, oh, give me the biggest government in the world. We want to dive right in. <laughs> Look, what we should do is make birth control easily available and teach comprehensive sex ed. If you want to stop abortion, that's a simple way of massively reducing it. Now, that doesn't mean it'll stop all unplanned pregnancies and all abortions in every situation. I mean, but look at the different states that have taken different measures. New York, for example, said, okay, we're going to uh, put condoms pretty much everywhere, and we're going to teach kids comprehensive sex ed. Now, what happened? Their teen birth rate, unplanned pregnancies, plummeted. New Mexico did the opposite. They don't do any sort of comprehensive sex ed. And look what happens. They've got the highest teen pregnancy rate in the world. That's not just about teenage uh, pregnancies, but it just shows you the effect of actually having the information as well as access to, comp uh, to, to birth control measures, right? But see, the thing is, they know this already, but they don't want to do it. If they do, people like Jim Baker lose their biggest social issue that they can rally people on. Uh, look, uh, conservatives... What they're doing is that, I mean, conservatism at its core is about appealing to emotion, fear, anger, and outrage in order to resist social change. That's what that is. And if they can't run on, we have to stop the Democrats from killing the babies, then what can they run on? Their other ideas are incredibly pop unpopular. If, what are they going to do? Be like, oh, no, we, we, we believe in giving giant tax cuts for the rich. No, they can't run on that with a straight face. That's why they have to lie about their tax reform bill. No, no, it's the biggest tax cut for the middle class that we've ever seen. And, you know, along with that tax cut for the middle class, we just happen to give 80% of the gains to the wealthy. But we're for the middle class. No, they have to lie about these things and they have to obfuscate. Or else they lose a lot of people. They have to outrage them and mislead them. Okay? But look... Embryos are not human beings with full constitutional rights. And that's what Jim Baker is arguing. Now, you say they're, now, if you say that they're babies, well, then suddenly that changes the conversation because everybody thinks of, oh, my, you know, babies. I like babies. I'm protect the babies. You know, you think of a, a cute little toddler and everything. But those are not the same as embryos, which is actually what Jim Baker actually is trying to apparently save. The only reason that we're going crazy is because of people like Jim Baker and their attempts to try to take away a woman's right to bodily autonomy. And not at least, if you're going to do that, at least boost birth control, sex education, and yes, welfare benefits to the mothers that you would force to have those children. But again, that's not what they're going for. What they're going for is a control over a, a, a woman's body and their right to choose. They're not pro-life. They may be pro-birth, but they're certainly not pro-woman. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you wanna see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you wanna support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.